Welcome to Turning Inward. Our intention today is to open your heart and nurture your spirit as you travel on the road without miles, moving inward on your epic and personal journey of self-discovery. I am Rebecca Polvey, your co-host, and I'm here with Dr. Vivian Carrasco. This is the fourth episode of our winter 2015 season. We are excited to continue to share concepts from Love Being Human with you and grateful that you are here with us. Today, we will be exploring the concept of forgiveness together. This podcast offers you the opportunity to explore new perspectives through compelling interviews with beautiful human beings and words of wisdom and love. The show was created to guide and inspire you. If you're looking for more meaning in your day-to-day life, if you're looking to be wowed by everyday people, if you're on a journey to joy, peace of mind, freedom, or a wild new adventure, then honey, you are in the right place. Welcome to Turning Inward with Dr. Vivian. Hi, Rebecca. Hello, Vivian. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you so much. Oh, great. Good. Well, I'm excited to talk about forgiveness today. And I've got well, several questions um, to ask you. And I thought I'd start off with um, something like this. How does not being able to forgive impact a person? I'm not excited about talking about forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> I know we tried to relax before we started recording, but I, uh, I, it's it's such a it's such a critical process for us. So, um, I know that we we got to do it, and when we don't, you know, your question is what happens when we don't? Um, we harden our hearts. We. You know, we're not in our lives like we should be because we're carrying around, you know, thoughts. We're carrying around um, suffering from whatever that doesn't allow us to move through our lives. So that's that's my short answer. (laughs) Oh, that's really that's great. I, I, I you know, I was thinking to myself, like I. I think this mirrors what you said. I feel like if you're mired in hurt, um, it just doesn't allow space for growth or movement. Um, movement, that was another one of our previous topics. And if you're holding some kind of anger in, it blocks you from opening up and from moving forward in a positive way. So I, I was thinking about it. I, I, I think of forgiveness as love because forgiveness to me is kindness and kindness is love. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I wasn't coming from that space at all. I was coming from a space of of pain. And um, I like your idea or, or your thought about the seed. Um, because, it, you know, here's here's where I'm going with this. Pain happens. Forgiveness is allowing the seed of that pain to grow into the promise of what it's therefore of of the self growth of the of the edge you know of nurturing that seed into 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 its intention yeah yeah i that, that's what you know what else i thought of because in the beginning i was struggling a little bit with forgiveness i was and i thought i wonder if we could think of being forgiving as kind of like being brought out of the darkness and into the sunlight and how instead of being mired in the past, past hurts, that you set yourself on a path of being positive and not being so focused on the past or, or even present hurts. Um, and I know I struggle with that. And, you know, perhaps if you've decided that, you know, you can never forgive, then you kind of block yourself in a little corner somewhere. Um, yeah, you harden your heart. Yeah, exactly. You harden your heart. I made a note. Um for today and and what it what it says is you know that happiness is wonderful and happiness is fine but happiness doesn't take us down down the same path that that um that pain does um 
But I think our work in forgiveness is to take all those things together and to integrate, integrate them back into ourselves. Um, well, you know, Vivian, and I was thinking about something else. I want to ask you this question because before, when we were going to record, um, we recorded trust, and then we wanted to do trust and forgiveness back to back, and then we just didn't have a chance, and things didn't work out that way. And I'm just wondering, um, do you think this previous discussion, trust, um, how do they fit together in Love Being Human, um, the journey or well, experience? Well, we trust we trust our lives as our teacher, basically. You know, we within love being human, it's it's that shift of moving from an outward reaching in perspective to an in, inward reaching out perspective, and so so we don't move through or between each other. We don't allow that flexibility if there is not a letting go, a dropping of of whatever pain or hurt happened and then moving us into forgiveness you know forgiving forgiving teaches us i went back to um i guess because i was coming from from this angle i went back to one of my my personal recordings of of love being human and and um and how afraid i was of it and at times honestly just angry i was like why is this happening i'm fine i'm comfortable this is pushing me out of my comfort zone i don't want to teach i don't you know i was just whining that's what i was doing i was whining <laughs> like you know you know i was given this gift and i'm whining about it so um so i went back to it because because I wanted to reconnect to what what it originally was and in in and you know tell myself the story again and and what I wrote down was you know this is just a process for us to allow our growth to happen there's nothing for us to do so so looking at forgiveness as something that has to be done is really just a distraction from the truth it's a dropping it's letting go of whatever distraction or whatever frustration is in front of you. You know, we, we, we allow ourselves to be fully integrated in the wholeness of our being when we let things drop away. And that's how I saw, um, forgiveness and trust is just that, that same thing, you know, trusting that our life is our teacher, you know, not a guru, not, um, someone who we think is, smarter knows better just just our lives our lives are our teachers my teacher is my life your teacher is your life you know your teacher is your life <laughs> um and seeing that teacher you know if it's pain it's pain you know what does that pain mean to you what is that pain saying to you um and and developing a sense of intimacy with our suffering I think the other reason I was coming at it at, at a different angle than you is because my practice has been to distance myself from my pain, to push the pain away, to distract myself from the pain, to avert my eyes from the pain. Um, and that's not really how the path through. The, the, the path through the pain is to become intimate with your own suffering and to understand it and to bring your awareness to it. No one can do that for anyone we do it for ourselves and it's our own work oh it's so beautiful i and i it's like i hear you saying it just takes courage it takes courage maybe to try to learn to trust the process that um maybe if you give forgiveness a chance it really might turn out more than okay oh it will always turn out more than okay how many things i was thinking about this and i'm so glad you brought that up I don't know that I haven't had something happen that at the moment I thought was painful that I haven't looked back and said, that thing allowed me to become who I am now. Mm. And so although I don't want to go through that thing again or ever <laughs> have that thing happen again, you know, I see who I am as a better being than I was then. 
And honestly, for me, the forgiveness hasn't been about that other person. That forgiveness has always been within myself. I have a harder time forgiving myself than I do forgiving someone else. And so that's, that's why maybe this, this talk felt so much heavier because it's so close to me and my own, um, difficulty in doing it for myself. And you know, that makes me think about when you say that, I, I think about the impact of forgiveness then. Um, I started thinking about, um, if you forgive or don't forgive, um, that can be thought of on a lot of different ways. Like, um, for example, spiritual, physical, or emotional health. And so I'm thinking that if you, if you are forgiving, that could help you in a very positive way on all these levels. Definitely. I mean, like I said, it, it is, it is a dropping of whatever distraction. What if you think of it as, could you think of it as building blocks almost, like you're building on the future? Um, and you forgive the, uh, something that's happened in the past, but, um, you, you think of it as a movement or building on your future. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the promise of growth and the seed. You know, you know, forgiveness is when you've moved past the pain and you see the seed of your own self-awareness and your own promise of growth. Um, so you, the other thing about forgiveness is that it is a movement out of your mind and your intellect. You mentioned on these different levels and it's, it's really taking you deeper into your heart and allowing you to see something with true clarity you know because i think we the only you know seeing what we see through our eyes you know is veiled there's so many filters in what comes through our eyes and comes out of our mouths and what comes in and out of our these our ears but when we filter something through our heart then i think it has true clarity i think any other time it's just heavy it's just heavy with all kinds of story and um, meaning that we lay over it. Well, you know, and I, um, I'm not sure how this fits. It's just, it popped into my head, so I'll just say it. Um, you know, I was thinking maybe it's it's more difficult to forgive some things than, and not others. Um, or if you could consider to forgive the person, but maybe not the act. I, I don't know if that, and, or if the person didn't know they hurt you. Um, Maybe that's easier to forgive rather than something done deliberate. I was just thinking about all kinds of things about forgiveness, and that popped into my head. What comes to mind when you say that is, is um, honestly, that if someone is causing pain, then they're not awake or aware of what they're doing. Mm. You know, it's like their pain is mirroring and, and being pushed out into the world. Mm. So I think I think where where I'm going with with what you said is. Is a person in their essence wouldn't do that. And mm. so that person is mired down in pain. Mm. Um, so you, you forgive because you are seeing that essence of that person. You're not seeing that statue. You're not holding on to that static, inflexible image of that being. You're actually connecting to where Maybe they are hurt and angry and all these other things that are that are around them. Now, you don't go near them because they bite, you know, <laughs> um, you know, you, you protect yourself and keep keep your boundaries from them. But you see them in their essence. And that is that they're in pain. And so, you know, we move out of our out of out of ourselves and into, you know, that's empathy. That's what you just said is empathy you you know that that wouldn't happen if they were whole well Vivian I've got another question for you how would you say forgiveness fits into the love being human experience Um, well I'd say that it's your work Um, it's taking the different parts of your own life and integrating them back into yourself so that like I said earlier, you become more whole. It is, you know, in, in the um, 
infinity symbol that we use a lot. You know, it forgiveness is what allows you to drop the distractions and the frustrations. Forgiveness is what allows you to just let that seed of growth grow. So that's how it fits into love being human. It is it is it is what takes away all the obstacles to your own growth. Well, I have one last question to ask today, Vivian, and that's, I saw a little note, and I understand that you're working on a book, and I was wondering if you would just share with us a little bit about what it's going to be about. (laughs) (laughs) You're so astute. I was like, Rebecca, why are you bringing that up? But you're so wonderful. Thank you. Um, I... um, The languaging of love being human through the podcast is a wonderful first step. It's a, it's a liberating, it's a freeing first step to, to bringing this imaginary thing into form. But the next thing is to make it physical. You know, this audio is physical. Um, and for me, my, my, one of my loves is holding a book and reading it. And so I want the next thing that we create to be a physical, um, or electronically physical, you know, to bring this voice into words. And, and what it'll be is, is this integration concept, this idea that when we take the intellect and we marry that and we integrate it with the, the wisdom that comes from our heart and then also fuse into it, you know, this instinct that is in our gut, that is part of our humanness, you know, this, this natural evolution, you know, like, like a seed turns into, you know, what it's intended to be. Um, that's what it'll be about. It is, it is the next evolution of love being human in a physical form from this audio and from our words into, into a a story that can take people through what it means. Um, and I'm excited because I think, I'm just excited. It's so exciting. It is. And thank you, Vivian. I really have enjoyed our conversation on forgiveness today. And we thank our audience so much for being with us here today. And if you enjoyed the conversation, we invite you to connect with us by joining our inner circle at VivianCarrasco.com. And I'm going to close today with one of Vivian's quotes. Remember, move with purpose and take inspired action. Thank you, Rebecca. And I just want to add a couple of words to that um, for our, our listeners. If you if you don't jump over to the website, that's okay. Um, you know, you, you're listening to the conversation and a conversation, and we're instigating it. You know, we're beginning this conversion. But this, the intention and in the, in the learning that is going to happen is going to be inside of you. And it is a learning that you live directly. Um, one of the things that, that I understand is that I'm, I am not the teacher. I am, I am alongside you as the learner. You know, you are your own best teacher and, and your learning is going to come from your own experience. So if you don't join us now, um, you know, take this conversation and then move it through your own life and your own experience and, and allow it to, to soften your heart and maybe to touch, touch touch you in silence and touch you in stillness and then also just to to accept the warmness of our breath and and that we're here together right now without any movement without any doing without any next thing so i just wanted i just felt a need to add that thank you rebecca (laughs) oh thank you vivian thank you for joining us today here on turning inward with dr vivian If the show moved the needle for you, please leave an honest review in iTunes. And also make sure you cruise on over to VivianCarrasco.com and join us for personal strategies and tips to help you move forward. Ciao, baby.